Hi guys, welcome to this episode. We're gonna be doing an unboxing once I get home, but for right now, I'm gonna go inside Dick's Sporting Goods, and then I'll be back out here, and then we'll drive home and do the unboxing. So I'll see you guys once I get home. So as I said, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods and grabbed some stuff. I'm now back here. I also got a Cabela's package that I ordered probably about a week ago. I believe it was about a week ago. And I'm going to unbox it right here. I haven't opened it yet. I'll show you guys the Dick Sporting stuff first. Also, I got some nice Firehouse subs. Sub? Not, not a sponsor, by the way. Um, I'm going to show you guys the stuff first. You guys ready? I got, let's see, six, six things. You, it's like really weird because Dick Sporting Goods overprices their fishing stuff like crazy for some reason. But, let's see. Here we go. So first, I got some slip sinkers. They're pretty much bullet, bullet weights for water. Uh, my soft plastic worms and stuff like that. They're in one eighth of an ounce. Those were one twenty nine. Next, I got two more, two more nice colored crankbaits. These are lipless crankbaits, and I have a lot of pride in fishing with lipless crankbaits because I've caught tons of fish. This one actually looks like it's bleeding. If you guys can see right there, those are voltage, those were $3 a piece. Next I have a Z-Man Chatterbait. This is a white color, I'm pretty sure it's a one, nope, three-eighth of an ounce. It's right there, three-eighths of an ounce. Nice little Chatterbait, I'm going to be using that in the Andro a lot for smallmouth. That was also $3. Um, next I got a Strike Kin Banshee Series Lipless Crankbait. This one's a crayfish color. I'm actually going to take it out real quick. I want to check out these hooks. I want to see if there's rattles in it too. Yeah, there's definitely rattles in there. These hooks are nice and sharp. I might change them out. I might see how they do when I catch fish. This will work really, really well for smallmouth bass. Next, um, I kind of just ran up and grabbed these off the shelf. It was time to go. Um, but it's pretty much just curl tail worm. It's like it looks like a sanko at first. Like I'll 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 pull one out for you guys real quick if I can. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can get one of these things out. It's a curl tail um, worm with pretty much a Sanko body, like a thin Sanko body, and then the curl tail at the end. I actually don't usually fish curl tails a lot. I just ran up and grabbed it real quick. But yeah, there's that. Now we're gonna unbox the Cabela's stuff. So I don't think all of this use a bigger knife. I don't think all of this stuff that I bought from Cabela's in, is in there because it's only like a two pound package but it might be I, I bought a lot of soft plastics and those things don't weigh too 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 much. Cabela's package has been opened. This thing like crazy. Weird. 
weirdest angle in the world to be cutting something here. Come on. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna move you guys over there. See me a little bit better. There we go. thing. I don't think I got the... No. Oh wait, yeah. Maybe I did. I can't tell. I think I got everything in here. There's just the thank you box. It gives you a little coupon and stuff in there. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. So first of all, we got these nice gulp flute type baits. Don't salt water fish. I'm going to use them for fresh water. But... Really nice baits, it's like a camo color on top and then a red pattern on the bottom to look like blood. That will go really good for pike. These are drop shot baits from Power Bait. Nice little three inch minnows. They have like little shards of sparkles in them. What is that? Next I have the Whopper Plopper. Got it in like a silver pattern. The hook looks really nice on there actually. It's a really nice hook. I think that's, that's going to be really good for smallmouth and pike. That one is. Mm, what do we have next? Oh, here we go. These ones are going to work really, really well for smallmouth bass. I can tell you right now. It's a little 2 inch halogramite. I'll probably end up drop shotting that with a smaller octopus hook or drop shot hook. It's like a small little helogramite. It'll definitely work in the stream that connects to the Andro. Androscoggin River, by the way. So there's that. Next, I have the Cabela's Series trailer, I would assume. Uh, I bought it to be a trailer it's like nice little like curl tail things let me see if I can split these apart let's see let's see there we go it's like two little nice curl tails right next to each other so I think that will work really well as like a trailer or something I think there's 20 no 10 in here there we go then I got my first, first biospawns ever. I've never used biospawn before. I'm going to seal a chip. These ones I got in motor oil color. It's like a nice, nice red pattern. I don't, I don't know why it's like that. You guys can see there's a little bend in, in that one. Is it like that with all of them? Okay, so it's just that one. It has a little bend in it. That'll probably come out through fishing it for a bit. These are going to drop shot because it's going to have a lot of action in the water with this bigger weighted end on this side and then this really, really thin spot right here. It actually feels like a pretty tough, like it feels really tough bait. It's definitely good for drop shotting. So there's... How many in there? Ten. There's ten in this package. So that is all the baits that I got today. I am so stoked for spring fishing for the smallmouth and pike. Hopefully I'll be able to use all this stuff, try it all out. Especially this whopper plopper, because I've never fished with it before. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode of the Android Anglers TV. Why don't you guys go check out my Instagram. It will be posted in the description below. I'm going to be doing a live stream on that, or I might do a live stream on here. You guys can choose by checking out my last video. Comment below on that one. I'll leave that in the description as well. And also my Instagram name. So, thanks for watching this episode. And I'll catch you guys next time.